Anyway, so like I said, mentioned, I'm 41 years old. And if I'm lucky, you know, I realize I'm halfway through my shit right now. Halfway through my life. So, you know, I'm getting nervous, you know, about dying, you know, just growing old, man. I was never really nervous about it until I got to this age and, uh, you know, you know what it was? I went to my grandmother's 100 year birthday party. And I quickly realized that women age a lot better towards the end, you know? Guys, we hang with them in the beginning because we're young, and then in the middle they're having kids, so we kind of pass them, but that end, that last third, we're like the stock market. We just, we just go right down to the ground. It's brutal. I went to this party. All the old ladies there were unbelievably shocked. They were still playing cards. They were right there. But some of the old dudes, man, they, they were brutal. You know? You ever see a guy like so old he has like that permanent look of horror on his face? You know what I mean? A couple guys walk in, they look okay. How you doing? And then there's always that one guy just comes walking in just like... that you constantly have a look on your face like that shit from the ring just crawled out of your TV set. Dude, that's gotta be, you're like so old, like everything hurts. You're just standing up, you're like, ah, my feet! You go to Lino, so, ah, my arm! Even like blinking, like air hurts, yeah! Dude, fucking kill me. Kill me if I ever end up like that. Dude, I'll fucking kill myself, I'll rock myself down a flight of stairs. I'll lean back, hit my head on a sink, whatever I gotta do. I told you, I already think about killing myself twice a week at this age. There is no fucking way I'm going out like that. At the end of my life, I'm walking around. And everyone else has that panic. Oh, fuck, is it going down? Look on their face. I don't know how you do it. How do you wake up every morning brushing your teeth? How do you fight the urge to not just jam that toothbrush right down your throat? I'll tell you what kills me was only the old guys had that look on their face. None of the old ladies did. Some of the old ladies had a look of like mild disappointment, you know, just sitting there like. <laughs> you know, like they always wanted to go to Europe, but they never got around to it. <laughs> but only the old guys had like their. <laughs> Dude, it was almost like they wanted to tell you a secret. Like, where's the goal? Can you remember the combination? <laughs> what is that? Somebody said it's like a mild form of dementia. Or, you, know, you know what I think it's from? I think it's from being married for 60 years, getting nagged every day, and never once looking at your wife being like, you know what, how about you shut the fuck up? How about that? Hey, I got it, you're not happy. You're not holding fucking lady. <laughs> is it that or do they like wear you down? I think they wear you down. Because I know as a young man, I had a lot more spring in my stuff. Young guys, your girl gives you shit, you know? You go for a drive. Where's this relationship going? It's still weird. We need to talk. And fuck you, lady. You get in the car, go for a drive. Punch the ceiling a couple times. You scream out the window, bitch! You, know? you get it out. You get it out before your face gets all twisted up. Get it out. Back to me. Then what happens? What happens? You stay in the relationship. You stay in the relationship, right? You get married 15 years later, you got a couple of kids, you got a little gut going, right? She starts in well on you with that whole laundry list of stuff you gotta do because you're married. Susie has ballet practice, it gets over at two. Make sure you're there at two. You were there at two at two the other day, and she's very upset. No, you were. You were. I actually documented the record on my Facebook page. And you want to give her an uppercut. You want to give her an uppercut. No, it's a natural thought. It's a natural thought. But you don't. You never leave with an uppercut. You set it up with a jab. You get inside. You come right up through the cleavage. You rock that head back. You set it right across the linoleum. Take that dirty pistol out. You lay it next to him. You wipe off the door handle. I'll fuck it with you. No, you don't do that. No, you don't. You never hit a woman. You never hit a woman. You're gonna get caught. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna get raped. It's off. You don't. You don't do that, right? Well, what do you do now? What are you going to do now, right? You're married, right? You can't yell because your kids are there. You can't go for a drive. You don't have a cool car anymore. You got like some caravan with those sticky children in the corn handprints all over the windshield. So what do you do? You go down in the basement. You just do like that whisper yelling. And then I 
think just one day, you, you're just too old. You're just too old. You're tired. You've been married like 60 years. Your body's breaking down. You blew your knee out at the Y playing pickup ball like 30 years earlier in the 50 and older league, you know? And you just want to watch the game. And she comes in that one last time, right? Just to annoy you. Yeah. Just picking on you. Yeah, you always mean to my mother. And I always resented you for her. Why can't you bet more like your brother, right? And you start, you know what, fuck this, I'm not listening to this, right? And you go to get up. And that's when it hits you. That the day before was the last day you had the quad strength to get up and out of your favorite chair. And that's when the panic sets in. You're like, oh shit. Dude, I can't get up. Oh my God. I gotta listen to this for the rest of my life.